Hello, it's Elaf, and I'm really excited today to be showing you a tutorial on how to create AI product videos. So yes, that's videos, not images. In the past, I've shown you how to create product photos with AI. And now we've got a new exciting update on the platform that lets you create videos as well. And so there are two different ways to make these product videos. The first is to animate an existing photo. So if you created a product image and you want to turn that into a video, you could do that. And the second is to create a new AI video from scratch using your product input and just creating the video without it being kind of animated from an original image. In this video, I'm going to be using fashion and clothing items, the same product photos that I used for the images. So if you want to see how to create the product images, you can see that first. I'll link that in the description. But in this one, I'm going to be showing you using the same products, how you could create videos with them. The quality of the images are 720p and they are eight seconds long. And so if you have any other questions, if you have any feedback, let me know and I will get into it. And now I'm just going to share my screen on my laptop and I'm going to show you exactly how to start creating your AI product videos. First, I'm going to show you how to generate a product video of this blue t-shirt. Here I'm on the background remover tab. I can upload a photo or use one I've uploaded previously, which would be in my assets. Then I'm going to click the green generate product photos dash videos button to send it to the third AI product photos and videos tab. Once it's in the third tab, you can see the default mode is images. So click on the video mode. Now I'm going to type in my prompt. In this case, this blue t-shirt on a 25 year old man smiling in a modern living room, neutral daylight, showing his full body, facing the front and turning around in 360 motion very slowly to show the back and then click the green generate button. It takes a few seconds to load, then a video is created. Click play to watch it. I like how this one turned out, so I'm going to save it by clicking the arrow on the top right. They don't always turn out perfectly given the nature of AI, but you can use it to get the general idea of how it looks and then regenerate with a different prompt if necessary. Next, I'll show you how to do the same thing to get this video of this red fur coat. I'm on the background remover tab like before, select the coat in my assets or upload one to remove the background and then send it to the AI product photos and videos tab by clicking the green button. On this tab, the default mode is images. So select video, then I'm going to type in my prompt straight away. Here I want to see this short fur coat on a 40 year old woman, tanned skin, full body shot, smiling, black trousers, outside a cafe, walking on the pavement, hair blowing in the wind, holding a small black purse in her hand and then click generate. It's good to emphasize that you want this product and any other details that you think are necessary since some subtle details are not always picked up. I like how this video turned out, so I'm going to download it to my computer by clicking the arrow on the top right. Feel free to regenerate or edit the prompt if you want to change anything too. Finally, I'll show you how to create this video of this yellow swimming costume. Just like before, we're starting off on the background remover tab, upload a product photo or select one you've uploaded before and then click the green generate product photos dash videos button. It will get sent to the third AI product photos and videos tab, which is set to image mode on default. So click videos, then type in the prompt. In this case, this exact swim costume on a 30 year old woman smiling, wearing a swim cap, full body, walking around the edge of the swimming pool and then click generate. It takes a few seconds to load and then a video is generated. Although I like this video, it looks more like a home video as opposed to one advertising the product. So I'm going to regenerate in this case, but I could also use it if I want to. I'll click play once the next one is created. I like this one a bit better, so I'm going to download it. You can see that the AI has replicated it pretty well, so it looks like the same swimsuit. So that's the tutorial. I hope it helped you get an understanding of how to create AI product videos for yourself. And so play around with it, get stuck in, test out a few different things with your prompt and let me know if you have any questions. And until next time, I'll see you in the next video.